Hello everyone, this is Stefan from SK Mouthpieces. This uh, little movie today is about a uh, double ring Autolink tenor mouthpiece from the 50s. These mouthpieces are super great. Um, the first thing here that I'm doing is that I uh, check for the baffle height. This mouthpiece has been worked on already and um, uh, is not doing so well. So one of the things that I'm looking at here is also uh, the side rails. I want to make sure that the side rails actually match the uh, profile of the reed. So the the tip rail and the side rails are usually the first things that I work on. And uh, this is something that I just roughly put in place now. And then one of the other things that I do to begin with is that I start looking at the table and there's sort of a dimple in the middle of the table. It might have been done on purpose, but um, I usually uh, put a flat table on the mouthpieces that I work on. And then the next step is to put the uh, facing on it, and I start facing the mouthpiece with uh, like pretty rough sandpaper, 400 grit. And I just get it in the ballpark um, of what the facing should be, because there's a lot of work that has to... Um, happen uh, after after I'm done with this here so um, this is something that I can take a while usually I do 400 grit first and then I go back and I work on the side rails and uh, and the baffle like now I'm actually going to start working on the baffle here and um, there's a there's a couple of things that I I want to make sure with, with the baffle that it's not too high um, there's a certain point that if the baffle is too high uh, beyond a certain point then the mouthpiece becomes um, resistant and um, kind of starts getting some of that like dead resistance that doesn't really produce anything and it can also become too bright and too shrill and uh, you lose some of the body of the sound if it's too high like that. Uh, so this, this baffle was actually quite high so I brought it down quite a bit. Um, I think here you can see that um, the way that I measure it is that I use this pin file and then uh, I skipped over that a little quickly but there's a line like if it scratches um, on the baffle it's just too much. Uh, so I get 800 grit sandpaper here and I start um, refacing the mouthpiece one more time. Basically I do this several times with different grits of sandpaper uh, start with the table again. Um, the reason why I use different grits of sandpaper is that uh, with the with the rougher grits, like the 400 grit, you can you can really get like most of it in place um, to where it needs to be. But but the further every time you go over it one more time and you start with the table, you kind of move all the points. So this this is a way to actually measure. Um, <clears throat> everything like really accurately in the facing. I also use uh, a lot more gauges than the standard gauge kits uh, because I want to make sure that I get to every point in the facing. So that's just more measuring. I've cut out of a lot of this video because this took a long time. So you can see that I'm I keep finding little inaccuracies and that's the thing like when you when you come down on the table with finer grits every time every time you come down on the table you'll discover a new point in between the measuring points I'm getting to the finishing uh, phase here now um, I use these little sticks with sandpaper on them and I used to you know like really fine grit sandpaper so it almost becomes like polishing it doesn't really make much of a difference um, uh, playing wise to finish on the baffle, but you know, it's nice that it looks good. Uh, the same thing with the side rails here that I'm working on. I just want to make sure that it actually uh, looks really nice. And um, and uh, so this is this is how far I go with the with the, the sanding of it. I actually uh, polish it with a uh, with a wheel as well. I don't have that in the way the video. So I'm at 2,000 grit sandpaper right now. And uh, I don't think I'm showing this in the video, but but um, I'll keep going till till I'm at at five thousand and seven thousand.
grit sandpaper that gives a surface that's really uh, almost like polished looking. So that's the end of the video. If you like the video and you want to see more, please make sure you click subscribe and, uh, and uh, hit the bell button for uh, updates on further videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.